Today in Children's Studio School's virtual Mystery Bag Studio, we are exploring our sense of touch. You are going to use your sense of touch to identify items in the mystery bag. You should have received a paper bag that looks like this from Children of Mine Youth Center. If you didn't get a mystery bag, that's okay. You can still play the game. Just pause this video and ask an adult to put eight things in a bag for you. Hey, Nana. Yes. Can you put things in this bag so I can guess what they are? Sure. I hope you haven't opened your bag yet, but if you already peeked, you can still play along because you probably haven't observed everything as completely as we're getting ready to explore it now. Grab your bandana and your bag, but don't open it yet. If you have a partner, they can blindfold you with a bandana. If not, put your bag on your lap and just close your eyes. When you open your bag, don't look in it. Resist. I know it's hard, but it's critical that you don't look. Okay, we're going to get started. With your blindfold on, reach in the bag and fill around until only one thing stands out to you. Don't look at it, just feel it. Go ahead and pick from the bag. Feel it with your fingers and think about how it feels. Is it hard? Is it hot? Is it flexible? Is it squishy? Is it small? Is it rough? What color do you imagine it to be? Without looking at it, try to guess what it is. What do you think it is? Now look at it. Did you guess what it is? Did you guess right? Okay, go ahead and put your blindfold back on and reach in the bag and fill around until you find one thing that stands out to you. Don't forget, resist looking at it. Let's put the blindfold on. Go ahead and pick from the bag. Feel it with your fingers and think about how it feels. Is it hard? Is it hot? Is it flexible? Is it squishy? Is it small? Is it rough? What color do you imagine it to be? Without looking at it, try to guess what it is. What do you think it is? Now look at it. Did you guess what it is? Did you guess right? Okay, go ahead and put your blindfold back on and reach in the bag and fill around until you find one thing that stands out to you. Don't forget, resist looking at it. Let's put the blindfold on. Go ahead and pick from the bag. Feel it with your fingers and think about how it feels. Is it hard? Is it hot? Is it flexible? Is it squishy? Is it small? Is it rough? What color do you imagine it to be? Without looking at it, Try to guess what it is. What do you think it is? Now look at it. Did you guess what it is? Did you guess right? Okay, go ahead and put your blindfold back on and reach in the bag and fill around until you find one thing that stands out to you. Don't forget, resist looking at it. Let's put the blindfold on. Go ahead and pick from the bag.
Feel it with your fingers and think about how it feels. Is it hard? Is it hot? Is it flexible? Is it squishy? Is it small? Is it rough? What color do you imagine it to be? Without looking at it, try to guess what it is. What do you think it is? Now look at it. Did you guess what it is? Did you guess right? Okay, so with all of these things in our mystery bag, can you think of anything that you might be able to make with all of these things? We, we can make, um, like, so we can hook those. Mm -hmm. So we can hook this. Mm -hmm. yeah, Would you can... like to try to make something with these things? Mm -hmm. And we might be able to add some other things. What other things do you think you might want to add to be able to make some I mean, things? Yeah, so. Oh, look at that. You're sticking those together. Why don't you show our friends at Children of Mine what you made? Wow, just that fast. That's beautiful. I don't know what I'm making. Uh-huh, but you're going to try to make something? No. You don't have to make it fast. You can slow down and take your time. I don't know what to make. Well, I saw you starting to make something with this cotton ball and this clip. It looked like you were going to clip these oh. things together. <laughs> Clips are not yeah, easy to use, I'm right? Oh, look at that. It's kind of like a cotton ball necklace. And you can put your keys here. Oh, you could put your keys there. And that's not only something, that's not only something creative, but it's something that's useful too. In your mystery bags, did you find something that you could create with? Yeah, you find this. Yes. Use your imagination and see if you can invent something with the things in your mystery bag. Maybe you can add some other things from around your house like paper or plastic spoons, plastic forks, tape. Maybe you even have chopsticks. There are lots of ways that you can be creative. Think about making something that's useful out of the items in your mystery bag. What can you create? Here are a few things that our interns created using items in their mystery bag. It's not always easy to talk about how you're feeling, but it is important that you have the words to express yourself, whether you're feeling happy, sad, or mad. We're going to explore some of the words that will help us to express how we're feeling, but first we're gonna hear from our interns about why it's important to be able to talk about how you feel. Hey, Darius. Hi. Tell me why it's important to be able to talk about how you feel. It's important because if you aren't well or if you're not perfectly okay, then you need to be able to get the help that you need and deserve. First question is this, Virgo. Why is it, to, why is it important to be able to talk about how you feel? Um, because if you don't talk about how you feel, won't understand how you feel and keep doing the same things. And, well, what else? and you don't want that to do, to do, to do that. And because, um, and also because um, if they keep doing the same thing, it might hurt your body part or hurt yourself. And then if you tell somebody how you feel, then, then they will stop doing what hurts and what hurts your feelings. Hey, Saul. Hey. Why is it important to be able to talk about how you feel? You need to be able to express how you feel so that you can effectively communicate with everybody around you. Here are some words that you can use to describe how you feel. Thirsty. Happy. 
happy. Hot. Sad. Cold. Excited. Annoyed. Sick. Tired. In one word, describe how you're feeling right now. Just shout it out. I can't hear you. In one word, Solomon, tell me, how do you feel? I'm feeling hot. In one word, how are you feeling right now? Um, um, uh, I'm excited to go to TV. So the word is excited? Excited! Uh, and I'm also really happy! In one word, Darius, describe to me how you're feeling. I'm feeling thirsty. Dexterity means building coordination and strength in your hands so that you can do cool things like paint, play basketball, and cook, or even eat with chopsticks like me. Today, we're gonna learn an advanced dexterity exercise. We're going to learn the basics of juggling. We're going to warm up our creativity with Children's Studio School's intern, Devea Swan. Do you have a small ball? If you do, go get it. If you have a ball, go get it. If you don't, get a balled up pair of socks. If you don't have socks, you can buy a piece of paper. Do you have your ball, socks, or paper? Let's see how many times you can throw up your paper, ball, or socks. One, two, three, four. I only need the four. What did you do? Are you ready to learn how to juggle with Solomon? Let's go. So your hands are a little bit small, so it's important that you start off with something a little bit smaller. I have big hands. I can hold this, all three of these in my hand. So you should be able to hold three of, three of your balls in your hand like this. That means that they're right for your hand, okay? So we're gonna start off with one ball, just going up and down. You ready? Yes. All right, go. It's important that you try to keep the ball in relatively the same space. You don't want it to go out too far, and you don't want it to come out too far back as well. Okay, so keep it in the same general area, okay? Okay, for the next step, we'll try and use two. The key to this one is trying to throw one of the balls before the other one reaches your hand. Okay, so they're going. It's a little bit harder, okay? But you gotta throw it high enough to throw the other one. So high, high. Sometimes that happens too. I'm not an expert yet, but I'm trying to teach you. Now, we're really gonna work on your dexterity and coordination by trying to juggle three balls. I know it's going to be hard, but you can do it. You can put, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Remember to keep your eye on the ball and toss the ball high enough in order to juggle. You guys ready? Let's do. Whew. Forgive me, this might be bad, but here we go. Huh. See, eh, kind of bad. I'm still a rookie. Now it's your turn to try and juggle. 
remember, you got to give it an honest effort. And if you fail a couple of times, that's natural. I didn't do it very well my first time either. That was great. There are many ways to juggle and build your dexterity. This exercise is helping you build your muscles in your hand and also your coordination. Now, let's check out some videos from the professional jugglers. Remember that dexterity just means building coordination and strength in your hands. So grab a friend and grab a ball and start working on your dexterity today. Thank you for joining us for Children's Studio School's Mystery Bag Studio, where we talked about our sense of touch, how to express what we're feeling in words, and we learned how to juggle to build dexterity. See you next time on Children's Studio School's Mystery Bag Studio.